can take a picture. Say hi, everyone. Take a picture. Hello. Hello, San Diego. All right. Hello, Comic Con. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us. We are really excited about today. We have a lot of great stuff for you today on the uh, Hasbro Marvel uh, San Diego Comic Con panel. So thank you so much for showing up. And how about another round of applause for everybody in here? All right, all right, all right, great. We got a lot of great stuff for you today, so let's get right into it. We're really, really excited. You guys know Marvel Legends? Are you a little excited about some Marvel Legends stuff here? All right, we got some great stuff. First of all, we want to thank you guys. Everybody here, amazing. You're amazing people. Without you guys, we wouldn't be here. This is a photo from last year showing uh, some of the great fans. I'm sure some of you are in this and can probably find yourselves. Why is my head so big? <laughs> You've just answered your own question. <laughs> <laughs> we got, there we go. Everybody's finding themselves there. So you just saw Ryan behind us take another picture for, uh, for this, uh, this year's. That's for next year. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, so thank you guys. Without you guys, we wouldn't be here, really, without your support. Uh, keep on supporting, and we'll keep on delivering some great stuff for you. So just getting into it, uh, tons of great buzz for 2018. This has been an amazing year so far. As you know, you can see some of the great social posts that are out there uh, for our legends and other kid toy lines. So really excited here. Thank you to the folks in the audience. Um, if there are any from these sources posting some great information from us, but also, our Hasbro Toy Pick hashtag has been really popular. We know that we have some great fans out there in the audience now that are, uh, that are posting uh, and taking amazing photos. These are the comic-based characters that we have here. So thank you again. Keep up the great work. Really keep up the great posting. And yeah, it's amazing, us. guys. So before we get into all the fun, let's meet the team that you have up here, all the Avengers that you have up here on stage and a few in the audience. So, I'd like to first welcome Jesse Falcon, Director of Merchandising and Marvel Entertainment. You all know Jesse. It's an updated headshot. <laughs> Jesse's trying to grow out the beard there, it's wonderful. We have uh, Dwight Stahl, big fan favorite. Yeah, Dwight Stahl, <laughs> <Chief> Design Manager. <laughs> so Dwight and Jesse, hand in hand, working on a lot of great stuff. Our partnership at Hasbro with Disney and Marvel has been amazing, continuing to grow more and more each year, and we are really excited about what we're about to bring you guys. The rest of the team, uh, myself, I'm Mike Polano, Senior Brand Manager on the Marvel Avengers line and Marvel Legends. Ryan Ting here, our Brand Manager on Global Brand Strategy for Marvel Legends. So if you know Ryan, you come by the booth, Ryan runs the show. And a new addition to the panel this year, Becky Nuga, who's working on a lot of different things, including the Avengers toy line for us. All right, and a few shout outs to some other great people in the audience. We have Jeff Labovitz, our senior director on Marvel, in the audience right over here. He's heading it up on the Marvel business side for Hasbro. And Tony Colella, master model artist, who I know you guys know. <laughs> Baby Hercules. Tony kills it out there, so keep it up. So I'm going to take you guys back a little bit to 2011. Anybody here in the building now, in the room, that was here in 2011? And this panel, I know I see a lot of familiar faces. The Captain America First Avenger movie had just come out. It was breaking records back in July of 2011. And this was our panel. You can see a few familiar and non-familiar faces maybe, but there's Dwight Stahl from 2011. We found this right there. And most of you probably don't know me, but I was actually also on this panel as well. So I was uh, back on the team in 2011 and recently just joined back on here. So really excited. Uh, Iron Man's my favorite hero. And when I was uh, working on the line back in 2011, some of you may remember the uh, Terrax Marvel Legends wave. It's one of my first products working on with the team and the uh, great Avengers product line here. So before we get into what I know all of you want to see, let's talk a little bit about the huge year that we have. We have an amazing year for 2018. It's the biggest Marvel year ever. We say that I know every year, but 2018 really is. You know we have the Black Panther movie 
Avengers Infinity War, Ant-Man and the Wasp, and Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Just doing great at the box office for those that are out and really, really uh, an amazing year for Marvel and Disney. So we just want to hit on the kids' lines quickly. As you know, we have great kid toy lines bringing great role play and action figures, feature figures to life for Black Panther. You can see the snapshot of the items in the line there. For the Avengers Infinity War line, uh, Nerf assembler gear, great role play, customizable for kids. We have a great six inch action figure line with Infinity Stones anchored by Hero Vision, our first augmented reality play experience. So if you haven't got out there, go purchase those six inch figures and stones and Hero Vision along with our assembler gear, Titan Heroes, Power FX, really bringing new power and great action to life in the kid toy line there as well. We also have Ant-Man and the Wasp. So great toy line here, uh, supporting this great movie with some Legends figures, some role play, uh, and some feature figures there as well. Best plastic smirk ever. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right, so we're going to move on to Mighty Mugs. I'm going to pass it along to Becky Nuger. Uh, so in 2018, we had the opportunity to relaunch Mighty Mugs. You guys have probably seen these out there. We have 19 Marvel characters, and here we have our Press to Express um, characters. You press down on their heads, and you get these great expressions. So we have a couple of reveals for you. Coming out this fall, we will have a Venom Mighty Mug. Some of our other characters, you get happy faces, you get some mischief, but here with Venom, you get anger you get more anger, and you get the most anger possible. <laughs> so we're really excited to have some anger in the line. Our second one is Wolverine. And here, you know, this is kind of like Comic-Con. Everyone's really excited, you're really happy to come, and then you've been waiting in lines, you're getting a little bit frustrated, and then it's been four days, you've been waiting in more lines, all of the exclusives are sold out, and you're just mad. So that's Wolverine. Again, these are two exclusive reveals, and they will be out this fall. Into the Spider-Verse. Um, so I don't know if you guys saw the Mar Marvel live stream that we did about an hour and a half ago now, but we revealed these three characters. We have Miles Morales, Spider-Gwen, and of course, everyone's favorite pig in Spider-Ham. Really expressive and really fun. So, talking a little bit more about Into the Spider-Verse, we want to take you through this product line. Um, this new animation style gave us an incredible opportunity to bring a lot of new um, freshness into the product as well as the packaging. So we were able to take this through action figures, play sets, vehicles, as well as role play. The key here is that more than one wears the mask. So we got these great new spider heroes, um, including Miles Morales and Spider Gwen, as you already saw, Spider Ham. Um, and so kids can play it out with the new characters as well as in role play. Did you guys get to the uh, panel the other day and uh, last night and see the spider footage? How awesome does that look? Yeah. We're really excited about it. The packaging really brings an awesome new freshness to the entire shelf. Okay, so I know that you guys like our kid products, but what you're really here for are the reveals. So right now I have our first major reveal. And I will tell you that when Ryan told me about this, I was incredibly excited because this is one of my favorite movies growing up. You have a Pegasus, you have a great soundtrack. Hercules is just amazing. Becky, <laughs> Becky, sorry, I think I think we got our, our wires crossed. I meant um, Marvel's Hercules, not oh, Disney's. You said Disney Marvel. Got it. This whole Disney Marvel thing confusing me. Um, can we still at least keep the music? You still want to keep the music? I want to keep right. the music. We'll keep the music.
actually looks kind of like Jesse a little bit. Yeah. Maybe that's why it's Dwight's favorite character. I think it's, I think I think we got a nice merger <laughs> of uh, Jesse's charm and Tony's hair and uh, a whole lot of uh, Greek god muscle. So you guys like him? What do you think? A great updated Hercules from the last time, I think, was 2007, right, Dwight? Yeah, it's been a long time. been a long time since we've got to see uh, one of our favorite uh, demigods. All right, so that was a sneak peek of he will be in the Avengers line in 2019. So that is our first reveal. Um, let's just take a step back, remind everyone we have two really fun Comic-Con exclusives down um, in the Hasbro Toy Shop booth. No lines or no tickets needed Saturday <laughs> or Sunday. Just walk right up. You can pick up your Defenders Rail Authority five pack based on the Netflix shows, and you can also get your Marvel Studios number zero special preview Red Skull in the long trench coat from Cap Captain America the First Avenger and the Tesseract, which this lighting situation helps us. Look, look how cool this is. It glows. And it can stay on forever for as long as you want. So just you know, rest it on your desk there. So two great exclusives. Go check them out. As you know, you've been down, down in our booth, you've seen our big wall. We're really celebrating the Marvel Studios' first 10 years, right? Iron Man 1 came out in 2008, and then with Infinity War uh, and Ant-Man and Black Panther this year, that's 10 years of blockbuster films. It's hard to keep track, but we all love every single minute of them, and we, as you know, have a dedicated product line for that. We also have had a great social media um, crowdsource campaign here for part of the Hasbro Toy Pick, so we partnered with some, some great photographers, amazing work here. Each one of them featured a different one of the 10 items as you can see here so uh, keep using that hashtag folks I'm, I'm watching we're all watching we'd love to see your work so thank you moving on to our premium role play you guys have seen these uh, Dwight has it right there oh snap it's the infinity gauntlet yes we did it we brought it out um, it's back in stock so I know some of you guys had some tough times when it first came out earlier this spring it, it is getting back out there so you can have your very own infinity gauntlet and, uh, you know, Marvel Studios uh, has a lot going on, so they, they are not here in Hall H. Kevin couldn't come this year, but he can join our panel with a nice little quote in an interview he gave. This is the greatest toy that we've made. This is Thanos' Infinity Gauntlet. It's pretty, pretty cool. So straight from Kevin's mouth, it's the greatest toy that we've made. So with that endorsement, I don't see why everyone shouldn't have one if you don't already. We also have the Black Panther electronic helmet. This film was amazing. We're releasing more Legends figures. Um, and so it's down by Jesse. It'll actually light up if we press it there on the, on the left side. So it has that uh, vibranium kind of effect. Other cheek. On the right side, maybe. Maybe on the right side. Sure. Or, you know, batteries, batteries. not batteries. included. Batteries not included. <laughs> you can see it there. So this has been a hit thus far uh, down in the booth. Second wave of Black Panther. Dwight, this is the first time we've done an all-movie plus Build-A-Figure wave for Legends. Yeah, yeah, very first time, guys. Um, we were super excited. We, uh, we made our first Black Panther line. We loved it. Um, we were all set to ride off into the sunset, like often we do on our first, you know, attempt at these uh, great new uh, starter movies. And management said, "This thing's amazing. Where's Where's Wave Two? And we're like, "We We We don't have Wave Two. And they're like, "You You don't hear what I'm saying? Where's Wave Two? And we're like, "Got it. We're on to Wave Two. So we uh, went to the uh, the mines and uh, busted these things out with uh, Jesse and Marvel's help. And we think they're absolutely stunning. And we hope you guys love them as much as we loved making them." So this wave will be out um, in December probably uh, later this year. So we're shipping it before the end of the year for your holiday needs. So we're going to jump in, um, into some late 2018 reveals. 2018 is so big we're not done revealing things. <laughs> and some of you guys may have, have seen this next one uh, due to our friends in Canada. Um, I do love them but they tend to get everything early it seems. But so. We have uh, Ultron again. So this was the Build-A-Figure for the 2015 Ant-Man wave, um, which was also the year that Age of Ultron came out. Marvel Studios' first 10 years was so big, we decided to bring Ultron back with some improvements. Yeah, shinier. Um, I think he is fully painted this time. I think he was molded uh, silver last time. So he's all uh, chromed out. What he dipped himself in was a vibranium. The end of the movie, I think yeah, so. yeah. So he's all super shiny. We got some extra uh, bells and whistles that matches more accurately how he was displayed in the film, 
and uh, we hope you guys love them. And this will be available for pre-order pr today or right now um, from GameStop and Entertainment Earth, so check that out uh, later today. Next up, was, uh, I started doing some Easter eggs in the cases for you guys, um, so hopefully you've been appreciating this week, but we have the Apocalypse and his Claw. Have you been digging that? I see a lot of speculation of, of what we're going to do, people you know, putting their stake in the ground and, and guessing, but uh, let's see if you can see how this will be released. Anyone know what this is? <laughs> Reissue yeah. of Archangel. But, but we're not done yet. <laughs> because you already have the, an Archangel figure, right? So it would be great to have some even better pieces with it. <gasps> All right. These characters are, you know, have a deep history in the comics, so we thought it would be fun to include something to use with Apocalypse um, in Archangels. Yeah, in the last Archangel we gave you, uh, we weren't able to give those wings that excellent sheen that we had way back in the day when we did the X-Force Comic-Con set, uh, I won't remember the year, many moons ago, but these wings are all super chromed out as well, so really shiny, just the way Warren's uh, yeah. blades should be. What do you think? All right. And this is also part of that pre-order program as well, so go and uh, reserve that right now. Moving along, everyone loves these baddies from our 2014 Winter Soldier line. We have the AIM Soldier and the Hydra Soldier there, and you know the Hydra was so popular we brought him back in a two-pack. And there was a tease in the case yesterday with the blaster that had an AIM on it, so you probably can guess where we're going here, but this is an AIM two-pack. Yeah, we were scrubbing some of the, uh, the, doing some research on Marvel, and we found these two different versions of uh, the AIM Soldier, the more standard uh, classic AIM that you guys all know and love, Mr. Beekeeper. And we also found some cool Shock Trooper uh, reference, and we thought that was a cool design. And by giving you alternate heads, once again, you can buy multiple, 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 multiples of these and mix and match pieces and parts to make a very uh, diverse uh, AIM Troop army. And each pack there comes with two of the bucket heads, which are, I think, the most you know, iconic, right? So correct, correct. have those. This was another tease in the case. Uh, we put a blue mystical sword. I think a lot of you guessed it correctly, too. But happy to announce that magic is coming back. So last time you saw her was at Comic-Con as well. She was part of the Spellbook of Ashanti. Um, which was great. It was fun to do her once, but that was just for so few of you. We thought she was way too popular of a character to leave there, so we rebuilt her. She has new boots to match how she looks in uh, a lot of the, uh, the uh, issues where she is representing in this costume. We gave her extra spells, purgatory demons, um, different eyes, different deco to really, really plus her up, raise the bar. Kudos to uh, our buddy Tony over there, and uh, we think she looks awesome and hope you guys will love adding her to your collection as well. I know a few people have come by the booth asking about magic this week, so hopefully that makes you guys happy. <laughs> Next up, we have an item that Becky and Dwight revealed on the live stream for Into the Spider-Verse. We have a Target exclusive two-pack for later this year with Miles and Gwen here with some fun little accessories too. Yep, movie accurate deco, some fun swappable accessories uh, uh, for webs and uh, Miles' of Sting, as well as unmasked uh, variations of the heads. Uh, should be really cool. And then this I can't wait to see that movie. That movie looks so good. <laughs> this next item has also been making the rounds, so we're, we're pleased to finally share it with you officially. <clears throat> um, here we go. It's our Luke Cage two-pack, which is a Walmart exclusive with Claire. So you can get Luke downstairs in his uh, uh, burgundy shirt from the... Uh, Defenders uh, rail, but we know everybody wants to see Luke in his yellows, right? So uh, we got him in his yellows. We brought Claire out. We gave her her claws from the Iron Fist episode when she went toe to toe with a bunch of baddies. And we even gave her some uh, alternate uh, scrub gloves because, you know, who else is going to patch up all of our favorite heroes? So we thought it worked. Are you guys fans of the vintage line that we've been doing? 
This was a really fun execution to work with just because we all grew up with those 90s Toy Biz, you know, great products. So this it was a really fun wave last year. It was a great success. So we're, as you know, we're rolling out a second wave. It'll be available later this year. The first two announced were Ant-Man and the Wasp. Look at that card art, just so beautiful. And then of course, for those of you who don't know, there's a story behind this particular costume variation of the Wasp, this blue version here. It goes back to Jesse's days. Yeah, so now you can, get, you, know, you can actually have this uh, and not like have to skip a house payment. Um, <laughs> we, we added that variant in the MODOK wave very, very late in production for whatever reason. Um, and very few of them got out to retail. So I'm very happy that we're going to be able to uh, offer that as part of the main line for, for the retro wave. So the next two we uh, put out recently too. So we have Black Panther and Scarlet Spider. Some improved paint job from our friend Tony down there. These look amazing. Come check them out in person. They're super shiny. And a new head for Scarlet Spider there. All right, so the last two classic big name Avengers are The team found a way to make Vision's cape work. It was, it was uh, a bit challenging, but we got it out there for you. So he has that standard classic cape, as well as an Ultron head for you to, you know, I don't know, do whatever you want with it, but an extra Ultron head. There's even that call out in the lower left that says, Ultron head. <laughs> <laughs> and a classic Hawkeye with out sleeves. All this Legends stuff, I'm getting a little tired. Let's just, can we take a break from Legends for a little bit? How about that? Oh, come on, it's for Deadpool. We're gonna take a, a quick Deadpool detour. A reminder here, we have a really fun fall line coming out. We've got some um, fun katanas there. We have a 12-inch Deadpool with a sword and a Deadpool mask that actually fits all size heads, kids and adults, so it's really fun to wear that. We have a Deadpool Monopoly Collector's Edition. So you open the top here, and it has a really fun display. You can get inside his brain there. Who knows what goes on inside there? <laughs> this is brass <laughs> knuckles. This is available for pre-order exclusively at GameStop, and then it'll, it'll go wider after that. So go look that up on GameStop right now. We also have a Deadpool rival blaster. So this is a follow-up to last year's Kronos Twin Pack. This is a single Apollo. Blaster here. With yeah, these are our highest performance uh, nerf items that we do. If, if you guys have, haven't played with these, I highly recommend them. They are a lot of fun um, for safely annihilating your family. <laughs> so that is it for 2018. So we have some 2019. Would you guys like to see more 2019? Yeah. So we do multiple waves every year. It is, it is a movie year next year for Spider-Man, but we'll be showing wave one, which has classic figures. So let's just jump right in. This is a, a new-ish costume in the past couple issues towards the end of Dan Slott's run right here, but we have the new symbiote here. <laughs> So these are great, and uh, I want to let you guys know, you, you know, you always see a sampling of our team every year, but there's a lot more of us back in Rhode Island and uh, LA and uh, across the seas. Uh, Bobby Valla uh, wasn't able to make it out for this trip, but he has taken over the Spider-Man line for 2019. So he's another talented designer. Many of you guys have met him in years past, and uh, we look forward to having a lot of fun with him as, uh, as he continues to make some more amazing legends for you guys in Spider-Man. Shout out to Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know this character? Really cool design. We have Red Goblin here coming with his trademark new pumpkin bomb, I guess. And you, you can't really see it there, but we'll have the, the model downstairs in the show after, but a full you know, tail. It looks you, really great. Have you guys been reading this, uh, this book? Yeah. yeah, it's really good. <laughs> Next up, we have two uh, female heroes. You might have seen the tease. We put the whip out in the case earlier today. That one was a little harder to guess, so maybe not a lot of people knew. But we have an updated black cat. 
and also someone you've never seen before. So Silver Sable, first Marvel Legends figure. We like our first. First time. Would you like to know the build a figure perhaps? Yeah. I think I think you guys might be, you know, we've had some requests for this guy in the past, so we're pretty happy to share him with you here. A few today, actually. What do you think? So our big friend Wilson here uh, has his uh, giant uh, diamond cane. Uh, and he also comes with, what do you guys like to have parts for? Extra parts? Variant head. You have angry, grumpy, and very, very, very angry. I like to call that the cheeseburger head, because it looks like he shoved a big cheeseburger <laughs> in his mouth. Look at those big, look at those big mitts. Oh, and he's even got an amazing pinky ring that I'd be, uh, Bobby would be mad if I forgot to mention that. So, And Bobby, since he wasn't able to be here, he was able to get one of these cleaned up and gave it to me to bring out so you guys can see him in person. He won't be in the cases, but I will have him down in the showroom uh, later today so you can get into a scope of his scale and size to know what you'll be dealing with when you get him in your, in your own collections. But he'll be sitting on his shoulder like Baby Groot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next is my, probably one of my favorite sections here. You guys know this. So there will be an X-Men wave, of course, for 2019. Now, don't, this is not an indication of particular characters. This is more to represent the 90s X-Men that we all know and love. Before, before, before you go past this, before you go past this, I want, I want to pull our most passionate fans. Now, you're not going to see anything like this today. I'm just, this is a hypothetical, all right? If we were to work on a 90s storm pictured above, and if the second we were finished, I killed over dead and was never able to give you another one, would you want storm silver, silver or White. What is the or, wait, wait, or black? There's a third choice. There is a third choice. There is no third choice. <laughs> no, All right, hands up for silver, guys. Hands up. Um, who wants hands white? For silver. Hands, hands, hands up. Who here. wants white? Right white. now. Okay, that's white. Okay, thank you, guys. Hands up. Who would like silver? Okay, and now hands up. Who wants black? Everybody, get your hands up. <laughs> so I think what? Yes, I think white. white, silver, then black. In white, the order. silver, then black. White. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> running change. All right. Okay. Cool. Sorry. Sorry. I didn't mean to derail you, Ryan. I just thought I would, you know, take this opportunity. Oh, no, I love it. Yeah, what other, what other kind of market research can we get out of the way here right but, now? But, 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 but that by no means uh, that I'm working on that figure at, at all. Just, just totally, totally hypothetical. So yeah, slowly but surely, you know, taking out some of these 90s X-Men, we've got Cyclops, we've done uh, Wolverine there, we, we just announced Archangel Rogue, so we're, you know, we're, we're getting to them. But the first character I w we wanted to share with you today um, goes back way earlier than the 90s. This is a character from the very first issue of the X-Men. Any guesses who that might be? This character was not only in the first issue, but this character was in the first page and even the very first panel of the X-Men ever. So you guys know it. It is <laughs> Professor X here. Oh my god, he's standing up! <laughs> it's a, it's a Comic-Con miracle. <laughs> Or, or he's just lying down. Or he's just chair. Lying down we. <laughs> I, I love that you didn't say wheelchair, you didn't say hover chair, you said chair. We will give you a build a chair. Yeah, you weren't specific, so it'll just be a chair like you're sitting on. Give him an office chair. 
All right, so we have Charles Xavier there. The next character, we're starting a new team. We're getting some more villains into the line. This is one of Dwight's favorite teams. Yeah. yeah. I love me some cyborg Australians. <laughs> so these are the Reavers, a feisty bunch here. So when we're looking at which one to do, right, we're not going to do Bone Crusher because Toy Biz did him perfectly, and as far as I'm concerned, that was a You're great. welcome. <laughs> so we're going to hit a, a new character in, in the Reaver team, and that, of course, is, he's front and center here, is Skullbuster. Good eye, mate. The, you the, want your skull busted? The first of hopefully many. Now, for those comic fans, does anyone remember what happened to the first iteration of Skullbuster? Yeah, we've. That's, wow, that's nice good. call. No oh, call. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That, that guy. <laughs> that guy. He met an unfortunate end at the hand of uh, another one of our favorite X-Men, Forge. Good shot. So that's kind of interesting that we would do a Skullbuster, yeah, and he was taken out by Forge. Yeah. Interesting. 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 That, that, that might be uh, some forge shadowing. Oh. <laughs> oh. Come on! Come on. Oh. So good. So good. Wow. You can't win them all. You can't win them all. <laughs> Moving on. This is one of my favorite books from back in the early 2000s, The Exiles. Kind of a time displaced, you know, hodgepodge group of characters. So a lot of them have been through the pages of the Exiles over the years, but we're going back to issue number one to one of the core teammates. Any other guesses? Morph, Blink. So let's narrow it down. These were this character was from the Age of Apocalypse timeline. Mm, Holocaust. <laughs> in all her glory with her great little um, little glowy spike things there. Teleportation <laughs> spikes. Spike so those are some of the X-Men reveals for 2019. Yeah. Would you like to venture a guess at the Build-A-Figure of this wave? Oh, yeah. Office chair. I'm hearing strong guy. I'm hearing hover chair. Beast, I'm hearing. I actually, I actually know the answer to this. Strong guy in a wheelchair. <laughs> I, I, can, will you pick me, Ryan? I know the answer. Can Jesse, you pick me? Jesse. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know what the answer is. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, you collectors know that for Spider-Man Homecoming... <laughs> Jesse two, doesn't know, wait, sorry, Jesse doesn't know what the build a yeah, figure is. Jesse's really having Toynesia, <laughs> like me. We had, we had so many of these things coming. You guys come to us and you're like, what's this wave? And you talk things and we just smile and look at you like... I, I don't. I don't remember. I'm living in 2020 right now. Like this is not this 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 convention happened two years ago for me. So, so back for Spider-Man: Homecoming. What was the Wave Two build a figure from the movie Wave? Does anyone remember? Yeah, it was Vulture's wings. So it was our first ever build a vehicle. Did you guys like the build a vehicle concept? So this that's is. That's it. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. <laughs> So I'm happy to announce that the Build-A-Figure for X-Men will not be the hover chair. Oh, let me hear it, let me hear it. Get him off the stage. Stay tuned. <laughs> we are not revealing it at this show, but I will say it is not a vehicle, it is definitely a character with arms and legs and a head. Who, who? So. Yeah, and, and it's big, it's very big. <laughs> Who are the worst presenters in the history of uh, Comic Con? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he is he is big and strong. Ooh, yes, both he's strong. Interesting. So let's talk some vehicles now. Um, you guys have seen this. We revealed it on the live stream. Really fun <laughs> to play with here. We've got Deadpool on his scooter. This is the carpool set because they're uh, traveling to work together, you know, sharing some, uh, some gas mileage. 
That is a new, so Bobby works on, on the vehicle lines as well, starting with Ghost Rider, Black Widow, and Wolverine um, in 2018. So he's continuing strong in 2019. He's created a beautiful little <laughs> scooter with a huge tailpipe. It even has the si rear view mirror. It has the horn there. It's hilarious. Um, and a new Deadpool head. You can, if you look closely, he's kind of you know, freaking out from, from going too fast there. <laughs> So moving on, we have some, we'll close the show with, you know, some sneak peeks, see if you can decipher who these looks will be for in the future. We've got what, like, what looks like a helmet of some sort, a shield, and then I don't even know what the thing on the far right is. It's from Green but. Lantern. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, front row. <laughs> some more sneak peeks of some things. You might recognize. I feel like the one on the right is a little tougher, but we'll listen to your guesses. So yeah, that's uh, most of our reveals there. Um, 2018 is still going strong. We have a bunch of international conventions for our friends around the world that will be either appearing at ourselves or sending awesome great reveals their way. So whether it's unboxing toy convention in Mexico, then we have Fan Expo in Canada. We'll be back on the East Coast in New York for New York Comic Con. Then London Comic Con MCM in October. And then uh, we're kind of doing a quick little European tour there in October. We'll be at London MCM, then Paris, and then at Luca Comics and Games in Italy. So definitely a lot more. Stay tuned. Follow the coverage and, and keep up. With Get it. out there. Yeah. Come follow us around. Travel the world <laughs> with your love of legends. But before we go, you know, I think Wolverine is, is feeling a little sad here, as yeah. some of you are, after, you know, we showed Charles Xavier miraculously standing. So... He just really wants, I think he feels <laughs> similarly to you guys, he just really wants the hover chair. So, Dwight, do you think we should give it to them? Yeah. You, know, they, they, you know, they have been pretty good this weekend. I, I got to say. I, I only cried once this, uh, this week, and uh, that's a Comic-Con first for me. Um, so, you know, they've been pretty good, Ryan. All right. Why not? All right. So joining Deadpool in the vehicles line. This is a really fun item. Clearly, Bobby has put on all the bells and whistles. We've got a stand for it to, to rest on. He it's even added a water park. He <laughs> <laughs> has a blanket. That is, yeah. And a cerebral helmet. And, and the panels, the side panels, actually slide out, too. So lots of great playability there. And this is just a moral for all you kids out there, and, and actually for everyone, really. But work hard and dare to dream, because we, we did it. We brought him out. It's been a long time coming. And that's one to grow on. <laughs> all right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, so much. Thank you. We, have, we actually started, we started really early. We started really early, so we'll still have some time for questions. Um, I just want to get some shuffling in here. So we're going to do a team building activity. Hey, don't leave, guys. You, I have a magic trick to show you. All right, here. Everyone it's pretty take magical. Some, everyone take, take some cards. We're gonna, we're, we, have, we have a bet going on as to who can get the greatest distance right. on their cards. So here, I'll, try, I'll lead it off. No pressure. All right. All right. I've been practicing this in the hotel room, believe it or not. Ready? Oh, no. See? That was pretty good. <laughs> I failed. That's pretty good. That was good. Apparently, I'm terrible at that. What are we doing, guys? <laughs> I wish I had Ryan. I wish I had a superpower to do this. A superpower would help. A uh, superpower would totally help. Man. All right. So you guys know what we mean, right? We're ending strong. My favorite. Your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. You know, and I'm gonna I'm not even gonna let this end just here. One more fan poll. Stubble or clean shaven? 
people are bare naked. <laughs> bear, yeah, yeah. Two pack, got it. <laughs> it's the Cajun invasion, everybody. Gambit. For the first time since 2013, it's been 15 years, Jesse, since that the Toy Biz legend. Still holds up. It does. All right, guys. Stubble it is. You all just helped make a Marvel legend. Welcome to the team. It pays nothing. That was our live fan poll uh, feature. Yeah, you got someone asked for a fan poll. There you go. You There's did it. There's our fan poll. Nice job. One All right, more. so now I see we've got some we've got some friends lined up at the mic. We will uh, have take some questions now. What's up, Jesse? Hi, buddy. How are you? <laughs> hey, so here's the deal. You got Mattel right across the hall. They did an RC Batmobile. They did a colossal T-Rex. They sold it to us for fifty dollars. Is there a reason why you can't do like a big? I'm sure nobody would want like a forty-two inch tall. Galactus for fifty dollars, or a giant man, or Fink Fink Foom. Fifty dollars. If you Come did a forty-two inch tall Galactus for fifty dollars, it wouldn't. It would just be flat on one side. It'd be like a cutout. <laughs> if they can do it, why can't you do it? Like, why can't you give us a Punisher van if they can give us a Batmobile or a Deadpool taco truck? Oh yeah, we'll give you a Batmobile. <laughs> <laughs> I already got one. <laughs> If the, if the front row planted that one, I'm going to get you. <laughs> no, we're looking at doing uh, new things, different things. Uh, we had an amazing uh, success on our Star Wars line this year with HasLab, right? We had a uh, fantastic sale barge that hopefully some of you, and if not many, many others, did take part of. So we are talking on the Marvel team about what we could do on something that's possibly more grand than what we bring normally to mainline. So. Stay tuned. We're thinking. We're working on so that. We're a, scheming. That's a maybe. That's a maybe. <laughs> How's right. that? So. But, but still no on the Batmobile. Yeah, we're always listening <laughs> to you guys. We'll look to Hard bring. Now. <laughs> <laughs> so, greatest Comic Con reveal, Blink Marvel Legends, and waiting for that for 15 years. So happy. Thank you. Um, question is, are we ever going to get any more 4-inch figures, or is that time passed? We're not going to comment on the future of product that we have, but we're really excited about the six-inch line. We have a ton of six-inch stuff coming for you guys. Uh, anything is possible down the road, but right now we're putting all of our energy and focus on six-inch. We know everybody here loves it, and we're going to keep that going. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank ever you. is a very long time. Ever, yeah, ever so is finite. You know. Hey guys, uh, thank you for coming and showing us uh, everything today. Thank you for coming. Uh, this lineup of uh, Marvel Legends we have, it's one of the greatest lineups since the 2017 World Series champions, the Houston Astros. <laughs> yeah, right. So thank you. Okay. Why are you booing the Dodgers when, they, when the Astros beat them? They're a good team. <laughs> Respect wow. the Dodgers. A heel question to the audience, not to our panel. I like this. But, you know, since we got a Songbird Marvel Legends, don't you think Songbird is a little lonely by herself without her Thunderbolts compatriots? I think this room knows it. I think you guys know it. And I think America and the rest of the world knows it. It's time for Thunderbolts Marvel Legends! I, yeah! I feel like we were just deposed. You know, uh, 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 so you know, you gonna, I think he's going to filibuster. Yeah, yeah. Then, so, so you know, just to that point, D it's Dwight, we, we we are constantly sending emails back and forth about characters, and and you know, we kind of pulled a bunch of the guys uh, internally at Hasbro about their favorite characters that they wanted, and uh, I didn't actually have any characters that I wanted on that list. I just wanted to f start cl like. Completing teams. I think that should be a big goal of ours. Alpha flight, please. Uh, so I just want to throw that out there. Like we've started a bunch, and I, I would love to see us complete, start to complete them. So yep, yep. agreed. Complete. What do the Houston complete Astros out. think about that? <laughs> yeah. and he's in the dugout. So All right. <laughs> What's your question, sir? So really, no chance at a Batmobile then? No. Uh, yeah, uh, we, we, yeah. Again, exactly. hard okay. no. one, that was your one hard question. No. <laughs> That was your question. So now. <laughs> next, next. So you guys played the music. You showed a bunch of clips, screenshots. from. You want more Hercules toys? Yeah. I definitely <laughs> want more Hercules toys. <laughs> With you guys showing so much from the X-Men series, uh, the, the animated series, what are the chances that doing something artist-based like that, where it would be the X-Men animated series, 
Marvel Legends toy line. That's a really cool idea. Um, we've uh, dipped our toe in the water over the last five or six years of doing um, a few characters here and there that are very artist specific, right? Yeah. I can think of our Thor that relaunched uh, Marvel Legends in 2012. You know, that was uh, one of our first and in, 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 in biggest uh, figures at the time that had that really strong resemblance. And I remember we did a uh, an Edmund Guinness Hulk. So doing character specific stuff is stuff that we're still interested in. Um, we do want to make sure that whatever we do still lives with the rest of your collection. We don't want to go too deep, too quick into, you know, where do you where do you start where do you end right you know your you favorite your favorite your favorite is so broad and that's all good stuff it's just trying to figure out the right time and, and where and and how deep to go but if that's something that you're interested in is that is artist specific stuff that the is that stuff the rest of you guys are interested in seeing down the line yeah. cool and, and and animated as well so and uh, yeah please complete alpha flight it's tiresome only having a few characters get the rest of them out there <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so with the Marvel Studios 10th anniversary figures that you've been releasing recently, do you think, like, even with Ultron being shown, do you think you'll continue to cover the characters that were missed from movies in the past? For example, like the Black Order, Ebony Ma, or Wong or something? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 we're we, we, as been, passionate yeah. as you guys are out there. So sure. we, we all had a collective. <laughs> um, look, it's the biggest film franchise in history, and uh, it, the the toy line is very successful. So uh, your patience will be rewarded. <laughs> Hey, what's up, you guys? What's up, buddy? How you doing? Uh, awesome, awesome. Hey, what's up, you guys? You guys are awesome. Thank you. Uh, awesome reveals. I can't wait for 2019 when you reveal Strong Guy and Nightcrawler. I'm waiting for those. Uh, my question is, uh, I'm, I like seeing the re-release of the Hawkeye. One thing I really miss is individual arrows. And okay. I would like to see more smaller accessories. That would be cool to see that come back and to never again see a gun attached to a holster that can't be removed from the holster, that okay. that kills me. If you guys could just like not do that anymore, please. <laughs> and it would be really cool like to have a Kate Bishop figure with arrows that could come out and so that she could bend her elbow far enough to actually reach into the quiver, maybe with <laughs> double jointed <laughs> pins or something in there, please. <laughs> That was a clever segue into the elbows, starting with that was, the elbows. Right. That was a really long way to go to get to elbows. Uh, Thank you. I spent some time thinking about that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, they all have angle pivot now, right? We, you know, uh, you know we, we've heard you guys um, for a couple of years now. We did give you, uh, we're, and we're exploring some of that stuff. You know, Proxima Midnight has double elbows. Pepper has uh, double elbows on her uh, 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 Mark Iron 8 arm. arm. Uh, and we have a character coming next year that'll have, uh, a female character coming next year that'll have double elbows as well. So we're, we're you know, we're, we're testing it out. We're trying to figure out um, how we can make it look better than it's looked in the past. And uh, we're also still looking on uh, working on new uh, articulation systems for Legends as we'd like to continually push and evolve the line into being something bigger and better than what you guys have today. We always want to keep going forward and keep uh, improving and tweaking the process to, to make the longtime fans stay with us and to uh, make it attractive to new fans coming in. All right, on. Thanks. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Hi. Um, so with your success with the vehicle line and with your acknowledgement to action figure photography on social media, is there a chance of doing a snap to build uh, with a figure dial pieces like Danger Room, Daily Bugle? That'd be cool. We, um, we, have, we haven't gone there yet, um, but uh, I love the idea. Um, we're amazed by the photography that you and, and many of your uh, brethren are, are doing. It's, it's spectacular and we love seeing that. Um, you know, we do that some in, in the studio work as well at, at Hasbro itself. Um, I'm, I'm definitely not opposed to it. I think you just got to find the right way to um, make that compelling as a purchase on shelf that, you know, attracts the masses, not just the few. But if we can figure those types of things out, I think uh, that type of action diorama stuff would be really cool. Just call uh, Marvel Select. Tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Naming rights. Uh, one, can we agree that all figure reveals need that awesome theme music in the future? Because that was awesome. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. Um, I was actually just wondering, because I know we have the Venom wave uh, dropping shortly. Is the Sony Venom on the table at all, or is that not considered something that you guys are able to do? It, they, they can do it. Uh, I don't know. It, you know, we, 
I don't think we technically have plans for it. We don't know what that movie is rated yet. I think that's a big part of whether or not that's something that we get into. Right now, uh, I think the footage that they showed last night was awesome, but it was super scary. Uh, so it may come in. It's, we're not in control of the design and development of that film. If it's PG and people like it, we can definitely chase it. Um, uh, so I think, you know, I, I think to, to the earlier point, your patience will be rewarded, possibly. Um, I think that's probably the, the best way to tee that up, right guys? Yeah, okay. yeah, that's a good answer for sure. Hey guys. Hey. Um, speaking of art specific figures, I'm curious what it would take to get a Marvel versus Capcom 2 Sentinel. If that's even possible and if it is, what kind of things would have to come together for that? And you would want it to be to scale with... Ideally. Uh, ideally the Legends line. So that would be like, a, probably like that big, yeah? Okay. Or maybe just, you know, uh, other designs from Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Okay. Well, I mean, we, 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 you know, we did some Marvel Capcom Infinite this year right. uh, with our two packs, so right. we do have, you know, relationships and, and open doors to discuss what those uh, uh, extended uh, offerings from the, the Gamerverse and so on and so forth. So I think that'd be cool. Um, as far as your first question, you know, a big giant Sentinel, would you, is that something that, you know, cool that the rest of you guys, would you guys like to see some sort of big Sentinel? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Interesting. <laughs> All right, guys, we only have time for a couple more questions. We have about five, uh, less than five minutes left here, so we'll try to speed it up a bit. What's up, guys? Quick question. Uh, are you playing a wave two of Ant-Man and the Wasp Legends, such as uh, Janet or Ghost or mm -hmm. Hank or even Lewis? Uh, I, I think, you know, that the success of the Marvel Studios 10th anniversary has really opened a door for us to um, look at not only characters that, you know, we may have missed, uh, like, I want, I want to get a Louise action figure like crazy. I think it'd be with real, truck. you know, a variant head with the Jerry curls like, have from prison. It'd be awesome. <laughs> but not just that, like, you know, we, we have a program with a different partner downstairs where we're celebrating some of the concept series that Ryan Minerding and the VizDev team have done from the studios. That's something else that, you know, could be a possibility. So there's a lot of things that we could do around this. It's just a matter of, like, there are only so many slots within a year for us to leverage. So um, I would say that, you know, Ant-Man and the Wasp is certainly a successful franchise and is going to continue to move forward, and those characters are going to be a big part of the future for Marvel. So we'll definitely be leveraging more of those characters in the future. Awesome. Looking forward to it. Thanks. Your patience sure. may be rewarded. Yeah, yeah, your patience will be rewarded. <laughs> Last question here, folks. Sorry about that. What's your favorite toy in the new line? Oh, uh, the build figure from the X-Men wave? That's mine. That's my favorite figure in the new line. Oh, actually, that's not true. Uh, the new Venom build figure uh, I haven't had a chance to get my hands on it yet, but I want to really badly. Also, that... Kingpin build a figure is really cool, and it could probably turn into a bunch of other really cool characters like big guys who wear suits in the future. For me, it's a tie between M'Baku, the build a figure for the Black Panther line, and Ulysses Claw from that same uh, wave, because he was so dirty and gross in that movie. I love him so much. <laughs> Look at me. Clearly, I aspire to that. Uh, yeah, yeah, those are my two favorites. Okay, so mine, I really like role play. So for me, it's a tie between, obviously, this Legends item, and I gotta say it, Hero Vision Iron Man Augmented Reality Experience. Yeah, check it out. <laughs> so if you haven't checked it out, it's a lot of fun. I just, I'm kind of obsessed with it. It's a great item. For me, uh, I love it all. I really do love the Legends and Avengers line. Uh, check out the Hulk out Hulkbuster uh, figure that's down in the case. Uh, you have an electronic Hulk inside a huge Hulkbuster set. Really cool toy. And if it wasn't clear for me, I gotta say, uh, Professor X in his hover chair and Gambit for next year. It's gonna be a big year next year for X-Men fans. Great. All right. Well, thanks for coming, everyone. We're here for the whole week, so come down and talk to us and check out all the latest reveals. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Wait, everybody, wait, wait. I gotta ask this question for my niece. Uh, my name is Reg Henny. I'm with Choice Noise and Action Figures. How are you guys doing? Anyway, uh, I'm sorry to break rules like this, uh, but I have to ask for my niece. Uh, I got the Miles Morales, and I thank you guys so much for that. Uh, Moon Girl, Devil Dinosaur. Yeah. Yeah. Moon Girl, all right. Yeah, great. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We thank you too. Awesome. We love it. I got, I got to give her an answer. 
<laughs> you, your patience might be rewarded. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> That's a good way to Have a great Comic Con. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you very much. Enjoy the show.